Hi everyone, this is Ray with the education team from Smurly Do's Kit Club, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my project that I've made with the project add-on for June 2014. So this month we have the Prima frame. This is so popular, it's so pretty, it's already distressed, it's just perfect in every way for the outside, so I'm going to leave that pretty much the same, because it goes like this, you can take this off and do what you need to do for your frame, the shadow box part, and then you can add it. The kit actually comes with this sheet of paper from Authentique from the Classic Elegant line, and it also comes with some black flowers, but I don't think I'm going to use those because when I was looking at the frame and I took it out and I was looking at the main kit, I just saw this piece of paper and I just really wanted to go with that sort of thing theme and that color scheme here. So because I'm using this piece of paper, browns seem much better to me than black. So I'm going to be using brown for my highlight color and I want to grunge this up just a tiny bit. So I'm going to actually use my frayed burlap distress ink. So I'll add some more stuff to the outside later, but one of the things that I wanted to do is use this bling from the main kit. So I've cut these up into strips and I've put some score tape on the back and I wanted to make two layers. Okay, so I've got my little bling strips on there using the score tape. Just gives it some added dimension there. I think it looks really pretty. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add this sticker that we got in the kit and what I've done is I've traced it out because it was just on a piece of acetate and I've left it on the acetate because I'm not going to use it as a sticker. I want to do the same thing that they did in this example right here. I just think that looks so pretty and I want to do that too. So I'm going to put it on from the inside. I haven't taken the sticker off. And I'm actually just going to glue it in there just like that. Just need to cut off some of the pieces so that it sits in there nicely. Okay, so I have a little bit of score tape sticking out right there, but I'm going to cover that up with some flowers later. I want to finish the inside of my design, and then I'll be able to do my little flower clusters. It's hard to tell exactly what you want to do with that until you get the rest of it done. I always think of that as like a last thing to be done course I pulled this out. I'm going to cover this up and what I've done is I've taken a piece of corrugated cardstock from the embellishment kit. This is by Fancy Pants. It's such a pretty coral color. It's a very nice accent. And so in addition to that I've also cut this piece of paper from the Kaiser Craft collection and I've made sure that it's smaller and the corrugated. I just kind of cut it a little bit smaller, just kind of freehanded that there. And so I'll have this sticking out. And while I love the coral part, it does need to be distressed. And I definitely want to put some brown ink on that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some frayed burlap and some vintage photo on there. So I've taken the picture and I've basically just cut around it so it looks kind of crude here, but once I glue it on there, it will look fine. And I have one of the new doilies from Prima, and I've cut this out using some of the cardstock from the cardstock add-on. This is the coordinations, and I have taken a sander so you can see it has different colors on there. It looks really cool. So I thought I would put that on here and then put this picture right there. So I need to decide what I want to do for the centering of that. I think that's good. I want to cut off the parts of the doily that I'm not going to use. So I glued down my picture and I wanted to put a quote from Maya Angelou on here so what I did is I just typed up the quote that I wanted on my computer and I cut a piece of paper that was 12 by 12 into 
an 11 by 8.5 piece. And this is the one that I used. It's the one that has the peachy color on there, and that's what it looks like on the back. So I just typed that out, and the quote is, if you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. I love that quote. This is what it looks like now. And for the last part that I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my embellishments. And I have a ton of flowers over here, and I'm going to incorporate some of these things. I got these in the kit too, and also these little stick pins. I'm going to incorporate that into my flower clusters. This is going to take me a while because this angle is not very good for me. For I can you can see it on camera, but then I can't get a good angle on it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and then I'll show you how it looks. So I finished putting all of the flowers on here. Again, I've used some from the main kit and from the flower add-on. This is actually from the project kit. And then I have a couple of flowers from my stash, just like some little blue ones left over from a previous kit. You can see, because it's dimensional, it's hard for me to pick that up in one angle on the camera. But that's how I'm going to use the flowers. And you can see I added the stick pins from this kit, and also the little gems on some of the leaves there. I thought that looked really cool. So I just have a couple of more things I'm going to do. When I was sitting here, I had a couple of extra pieces of this right here that I had the score tape on, so I decided to add it to a piece of lace. I thought it might look nice down here just to give it a finishing touch, so I'm going to do that. I think that adds something cute. We also got these in the embellishment kit, and these are sprockets from Kaiser Craft. And I wanted to take one of these and put it on the keys. And for the most part, I am done. I can't think of anything else that I would do with this. I might do some sort of accent along the frame. I'm not sure, but if I do, you'll see it in the final picture. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got some ideas for what you can do with the main kit and this picture frame from the project add-on. And I think that is going to do it. Wait. It needs an angel. There we go. I'm going to add this angel. This is from my stash. It's a Prima angel. That will do it now. So be sure to go to swirlyjuice.com and check out our forums. We have an awesome community. And check to see if there's any kits. If you don't already have, if you don't already subscribe, excuse me, you can go to the left-hand side of the screen on swirlydoos.com where it says available kits and see if we have any. Thanks for watching.